Hello Zebraherd, welcome to Plants vs. Zombies 3. You heard me right, the third Plants vs. Zombies game is finally available. It is currently soft launch, which means it's only available in a couple of countries. It's sort of like an early access beta version of the game, but yeah, this is super exciting. It's finally open to be able to be shown, to be played, um, and I am so excited to get started with this series. Of course, you guys know I'm a big fan of Plants vs. Zombies. We've played through Plants vs. Zombies 1 and 2, Garden Warfare 1 and 2, and Battle for Neighborville, all sorts of Plants vs. Zombies action, and now with this new game, I plan on playing this one so, so much. So be sure to let me know, are you excited for Plants vs. Zombies 3? And with that being said, let's get started. Oh, what's going on? Looks like we're back in, uh, of course, the neighborhood. Oh no, what is that? Uh oh. Whoa, what is that? Oh gosh, that's a big tower looming over Dave's house. That tower conquered every block in Neighborville. We're the last lawn left. Drive the Devour Tower off your lawn. Okay, get out of here. <laughs> okay, I just click it and something happens. All right, final boss fight right now. Let's go for it. Oh man, I can't believe this is a thing. This is just happening right now. Whoa, look at this. Wow, that's super cool looking. Oh, there's some zombies. I like that one's hair. Ready, set, plant. Okay, so this game works a little bit different. Sunflower here, don't let the zombies eat your brains. Put a pea shooter here, will do. Placing plants costs sun. Making sun is what I do best. Defend pea shooter, put a walnut here. Alrighty. Put a bong choy here. So some familiar plans so far. That lane's covered, defend the other four lanes to survive. Okay, so, oh man, the new art style is it's totally interesting, I really like it. Um, But as you can see, this game already works a lot different from Plants vs. Zombies 1 and 2. You do not put sunflower down and collect sun that way. In fact, on the bottom, you can see that sun is constantly being built up over time. Um, but with that sun, we can place plants down as we always have. And we only have that small choice. Sunflower, pea shooter, bong choy, and walnut. But you know what, that's all we need. It is interesting seeing a new zombie here already. This one with the longer hair and the scarf, I guess is supposed to be like a female version of what we already know. But I think that's really cool. So wow, this is, I just, I don't even know what to say. It's just, one day Plants vs. Zombies 3 just shows up and is, is available to play, you know? That's just super exciting. Um, let's go ahead and put this down there. And we definitely need a new bong choy, but for that I need six, so I need to save this up a little bit. Bong choys are a bit more expensive than I anticipated. Also, want to take a while to... Okay, there we go. Got him. <laughs> uh, want to take a while to restore, so we'll have to be careful of that. That should be good enough. So this is stage one of two on the top, apparently. We're earning up a taco. Because this game has actually been in alpha for a little while, but that was like a private alpha, you weren't allowed to make videos on it or anything. And on top of that, I, I just didn't really play it very much. Stage complete, stage one clear. Hey neighbor, the name's Christopher David Blazing th the Third, but you can call me Crazy Dave. <laughs> I didn't know his full name, that's awesome. It's taco time. Tacos activate plant's unique taco ability. It lasts a whole battle. So, is this is like plant food. Give a taco to a plant. I wanna give it to this bunk choy. Whoa, he's a little bigger now. Okay, oh, and maybe this is our, so I can move plants around right now if I wanted to. So it looks like it's not plant food. They're boosted, like they're stronger, but they don't have maybe a special effect or anything. I do have six sun, we might as well put up another bunk choy. And symmetry, we get bonus for symmetry. Well, that's good. Oh, look at the little imps, their heads are so big. There we go, punch him down. So he definitely already seems to be doing quite well. I would like to save up for more bonk choice if I can. I think that's more important than the pea shooters at the moment. But so far this is quite survivable. I mean, obviously this is supposed to be at like the tutorial level. I would hope it wouldn't go too badly. But yeah, honestly, I've, I've heard a lot of people say they don't like the art style, but this is quickly growing on me. I really like the look of it. I, I like the look of the zombie. Like, I, I don't know what it is, the difference in his like face. It just, I think it looks really cool. Not to say that the old art style is bad or should go away, but this one's nice too, you know? 
Why not have some coexistence? Because as far as I understand, while Plants vs. Zombies 3 is now a thing, PvZ 2 is still being supported. We just got a brand new game mode in that game. It was uh, Penny's Pursuit. I've been playing that, so if you're curious, go check it out. But. <laughs> Yeah, expect, if you're new here, expect a lot of episodes on this game. I've been playing a ton of all sorts of PVZ games. The original Plants vs. Zombies 1 I did a 100% playthrough of last year. PVZ 2, I'm over 130 episodes. Battle for Neighborville, I'm over 150 episodes. Guard of Warfare 2, we did over 400. So I'm sure we'll be playing a lot of this one as well. Floor complete, we did it. Um, So what do we do now? <laughs> I don't know. We won, right? I mean, I guess we could go up this tower. That's interesting. So I think, I think it's downloading something now. Oh no, ah! Oh, it's backing off. A building with a lag, is it sort of creepy? And everything's back to normal. <laughs> Just as it should be. Floor complete, level one. Unlocks, town area unlocked, your house. Generates an assortment of seeds for your collection. All of your pinatas have leveled up. I didn't know I had pinatas. So they're all level one now. Way to go team, we made the tower retreat from our lawn with the power of teamwork. You mean the power of punching? <laughs> Towards seeing like the bong choy and stuff talk. Uh, you mean the power of tacos? Wait, the tower retreated? Why does the tower have giant robot crab legs? I was asking the same thing. I wish I had giant robot crab legs, don't we all? <laughs> we freed your house and it's packed with pinatas. Those pinatas are full of plant seeds to upgrade our plants and I'm a plant. Okay, so there are upgrades. Return to, to collect free pinatas from your house multiple times each day. Sure. I'm trying. Oh, there we go, basic pinata level two, let's open it up. So we get four experience for the pea shooter. Uh, is that it? I guess so. Hey, pea shooter, if you really wanna punch as hard as I do, we should spar. Hello, did somebody say star? Who's this? <laughs> Little star tree. N nobody said star. I'm star, it's me, star tree. Stars will help me grow to new celestial heights. We're kind of busy right now. We're trying to get stronger, beat the tower, and free all the captured plants. The more stars you bring me, the more pinatas I can grow for you. Did I say we're busy? I meant yes, we need that pin pinata power. Let's go beat some zombies and earn some stars. So head to your house, and here's your house level one. Here come the zombies. Our job is to defend our lawn and defend our family. Let's take them down. So the zombies just chilling out and we just fight them. Zombie attack, level one zombie sightings. Can I like choose these and get some info on them? Yes, I can, we get the brown coat. Want brains, takes brains, has brains. Basic. Okay, so uh, I, I like how you can even see them walking around and stuff. Uh, next up we have uh, the neighborhood zombie. Wears a traffic cone on their head as armor, resourceful. And then we have the imp, uh, neighborhood zombie. Oh, oh no, I'm reading the wrong thing there. I was reading the thing under that. That's like the classification, so it's an imp. It's a cone head, and it's a brown coat zombie, of course. Fast and weak, always up to something, fun size. All right, so no threats this time. I don't know, I guess that's what it's trying to say. Weird, team power is 180, the zombie power is 100, so we do have an advantage here. Can we choose different plants? We could, but we have not found any of them. Oh boy, that's cool, I cannot wait to see some of those. Um, how do I go back? Yep, 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 there we go. Let's fight. Bring it to him, tip, prepare for threats. Okay. Oh, I like the little greenhouse to the left of the house. That's cool. The art style's amazing, I like it. Okay, so we start with 13 sun. That's fantastic, we can really make the most of that. I don't think I quite need walnuts until like a cone head shows up. For right now, working on the pea shooters. Maybe the bong choys at some point. It does also give them a little description. Punches ahead and behind. Uh, shoots straight, and of course, block zombies. So I guess about there is fine. And we'll see how that goes. Oh, nice. But it seems like we're earning up points on the top there. Oh, you know what? Is that how it works then? So the stage doesn't end when a certain amount of zombies comes out. The stage ends when we get that green bar filled up. After that, that's when we move over to the taco upgrade, and then stage two begins, and it's sort of the same thing, I suppose? So that's different, for sure. Now that I'm recognizing that, that's that's definitely peculiar. It's not bad, of course, it's just different. Final wave, oh, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. <laughs> well, maybe once we got the green bar filled up, that activates the final wave. 
I might be wrong, but I would love to ask you guys, have you been able to have the chance to play PvZ3 yet? Are you in one of the countries that this game is available in? Like I said, it's only available as of recording this on February 20 something of 2020. It is currently only available in certain countries, but will be launched worldwide in the future. Um, this is sort of their trial period to see, you know, a limited sort of focus group of people, what their thoughts on the game are. But there's the stage complete. It is now taco time. Um, so let's promote somebody. Let's promote a pea shooter this time. No, no, I don't want to move you. There we go. Level one talk ability makes you shoot more peas. Exactly what I want. We got some more symmetry there. Didn't have enough sun to make any more symmetry than that happen, unfortunately. But we got we got some other stuff. See, there's only two stages, but I'm sure that'll change a little bit more once we move on. We have multiple stages. Uh, let's do that. And I'm ready for another walnut whenever it's ready. Maybe we should save up for the the bong choy first. Because it seems like this this might take us a moment. Got it? Need two more sun. I wonder if there's any way to upgrade the sunflower, make her produce more sun more quickly. Yeah, so far, obviously, I've only been playing the game for 10 minutes, but my 10 minutes first impression is, this is really cool, this is really exciting. Also, I didn't notice before, uh, the pea shooter's taco makes him look like a repeater now. That's pretty cool. So maybe there's no repeaters in the game, I wonder. I wonder if they've changed that. Yeah, and he fires like a repeater as well, so the taco just turns him into a repeater now. So I wonder, I'm, I'm sort of starting to guess, there might be less plants in this game in total than in PvZ2. But maybe they'll have more effects, maybe they'll be more significant. I'll say that the plants in PvZ2 weren't, but there were sometimes plants maybe you wouldn't use all that often. So, so far, so good. We're working on our third lane now of uh, pea shooters. Definitely don't mind that. I wanna see if we can't get it done before uh, this finishes. Things are getting a little bit crowded. Huge wave of zombies is approaching. Can I put these over? Did that work? No, it's not. So you can't just like replace it like you can in PvZ2. And PvZ1, actually. Come on, one more time. There we go. Symmetry, plus 43. So that's good. Getting all those extra bonuses seems to certainly help. Keep punching, you got it. There's no situation you can't punch your way through. There we go. Very nice, a cover plant celebrating. Those poor wands have big chunks out of them. You win, stage two clear, we get five stars, good. Look, earning higher scores earns you more stars. Hello, did somebody say stars? That was you. All right, well, uh, we got a score breakdown here. So our base score is 3,203. We get symmetry bonus points and a quick win. We did not get any salad bar or parthenon. I don't know what those are. Whoa, who's this new guy? Hey, there's a new plant there, it's like a bamboo. I'm about two things, bam and boom. Okay, I'm also about shoots. So he's like a bamboo shoot. Oh, that's cool. I'm about shootering too, peas mostly. So we get one experience for bamboo shoot, we get three experience for uh, pea shooter, which should level him up, and 29 coins. All right, preparing for more threats, according to this tip. It's what I should be doing. Yeah, this, is, this is such an interesting experience so far. I'm enjoying it a lot. Uh, it's different, it's refreshing. So there's five stars, uh, and now what? Add bamboo shoots to your team. Here he is. Well, let's see some info about, oh, I can't. <laughs> Gotta do what they're telling me. We've also got enough seeds to upgrade a more classic plant, like me. Oh yeah. So, pea shooter level one, he's a common shooter. Upgrade pea shooter right here for 40 coins. There we go. Shoots P straight forward down the lane. Straight forward. Oh no, I guess I combined those in my head. Whatever. Um, so check out the town map. Whoa. Our lawn's clear, but that nasty tower is right across the street. Then let's punch that tower until we drive back nice and far. Hello, did somebody say spice and stars? You'll earn more stars from fighting that tower. What, attack the giant death trap we just escaped from? I'm in. I love my favorite tap shoes in there. <laughs> I love the Wana, he's my favorite character so far. If we beat enough tower floors, we can rescue new plants too. Oh wow, so we, we for the tutorial we did floor one, now we have floor two where we have two plants we could potentially save, and also 50 coins for the mastery reward. Look at, look, there are those S-T-A-R-S. Why are you spelling st stairs? Hello, did somebody say stars? How does one, does an entire tree keep sneaking up on us? 
<laughs> all right, well, the humor is here in this game. That's what I want. Complete this floor to unlock all this. I really want to cabbage pots, of course, a classic plant. New threats, armored zombies, tap for details. Pea shooter's little peas will hardly scratch an armored zombie like Conad. Hey, watch it, new guy, I'm planted right here. Don't worry, kiddo, my heavy hits will boom that armor to pieces. All right, so armored zombies, they take less damage from every hit, use slow firing high damage plants. Good to keep in mind. Um, and this is bouncing, is this new? No. So I don't know, maybe that is the one that is uh, boosted that way. Uh, but there are some new zombies here. We have the Power Walker. Walks quite fast and presumably with power. Don't. I like it. What I like about this game is the art style wise, it is like 3D version of PVZ Heroes in a way. Dog Walker, and speaking of which, we got the Dog Walker. He was, he was in PVZ Heroes. His dog attacks in his lane and adjacent lanes, mangy. All right. So let's fight with this and see how it goes. Use plant food. So there is plant food on top of there being tacos. Huh. Interesting. Ready, set, plant. So, oh man, bamboo shoot is expensive. Seven sun for that. Well, we don't need that right away. Instead, let's just work on pea shooter. While we do save up some sun for it, that'd be good. Okay, so he's down this way now. Got it, and we could speed things up if we wanted to. I don't know if that's a good idea at the moment. But yeah, now we're in this scary tower. Don't really know what's gonna go on in here. Okay, so we're good to set up our first bamboo shoot. I'm not exactly sure where, though. Uh, what's this do here? Oh, that's not actually not where I meant to put it, but that's okay. Can he get rid of that imp? He can. Let's put a walnut there for now. Add another bamboo shoot. Do I tap them to activate them? How does this work? Because right now he hasn't done anything. Oh, there he goes. Whoa, 100 damage. Not too bad. So I definitely want to try to get a full lane of bamboo shoots out first and foremost. I think that might be our best bet. So get him there. Final wave coming in. That's a bit of a danger. And as you can see, I might have to change my plans here a little bit. Uh, I might have to just go for Bong Choi for now. That's fine. Bong Choi is a plenty good plant. Actually, it looks like Pea Shooter can handle her. All right. Never mind. But definitely attacks a bit more effectively. Stage complete, stage one clear. Uh, so, who do I want to taco boost? I definitely want to try the bamboo shoot. Whoa. All right, so they're looking good. They're looking a little bigger, a little more intense. I think that's about it. We got some symmetry right there. Oh, here's the dog walker. So he should be jumping between lanes. Well, he would he would if it wasn't for the fact that he got totally destroyed there. For the most part, there we go. So last bamboo shoot right there. We don't have to worry about it as much anymore. I will put down some walnuts though, start working on that. So far I'm happy with how things are going. This is a lot of fun. So now I want to start saving up for bonk choice. I don't know if we'll be able to get enough in time, but I will certainly try. All right, a huge wave of zombies is coming in. Got some more power walking zombies. And go for it. Oh no, oh no, we're fine, we're fine. Final wave. So I didn't really get to get everything I wanted here, but that's fine. I mean, that's sort of the thing with the bamboo shoots. Maybe next time don't put out six of them, maybe, or five of them, only put out what we need. So there we go, 50 coins, master reward. Uh, Cool. So I guess we don't get like a star ranking for this. Tip defeat zombies fast. Oh, the sooner we defeat them, the farther to the right they are, the more points we get. So it is sort of like a arena in PVZ2. For complete, we unlock the cabbage pole. Lobs cabbages, hitting, flying, and non-flying zombies. Crisp. Uh, pine needler, that's a new plant in general, I think. Flings pine needles that pierce through multiple zombies. Pine scented. Store, spend coins and gems to buy daily deals and pinatas. Hello, did somebody say enough stars? Because you have them. Oh really, go to the star tree screen and claim a pin pinata. So that's over this way. The more stars you earn, the higher I grow. And the more pinatas I can give you. Oh, so this is sort of like the tree from Zen Garden and PVZ1 in a way. I like it. So 
There's a lot going on here. Star Tree, collect stars from battle to earn rewards. This ends in two days and 15 hours. So we can claim this first one. Um, open it up. And we get some walnut experience and some bamboo shoot and some 35 coins. Nice. Come back when you've earned more stars to get another star pinata. So it looks like for doing that, oh, I see. So as you can see on the right, we have the free to play pinatas we can earn up by earning up stars. On the left, we have the premium, premium pass. Get the premium pass to claim extra rewards for the stars you earn and unlock rewards for the stars you already have. This premium pass is active through the current week. So that's 300 gems. I do not have enough for that. I don't know how to get more gems, but I'm sure we'll figure that out. So I'm guessing if I had premium, I could go back through and get these as well. Once again, can't quite get that. Uh, but at some point, that'll be great. Request assistance, Taco Park. Wait, is that Penny? That radio call, I can assist with taco eating and parking. No, Dave, it's Penny the RV. She must be trapped in Taco Park. I bet if we keep hammering this tower, we can force it off Taco Park and save Penny. Uh, push the devour, the devour tower off of Taco Park. All right, so we're just going to go to another one now. Um, yeah, did we ever go to the shop though? I don't, I don't know if it'll let us. No, it won't. So we just gotta keep following the tutorial for now, that's fine. So level three, we have, oh, we have the Colonel Poland Snapdragon. And we get 10 more stars for this. Lives available for this four is just one. We also get the shovel so we can dig up zombies. Oh, we got some new faces here. First off, the classic balloon zombie. When his balloon is destroyed, he stops flying and acts like a normal zombie. Popping. Every description ends with a singular like word. I mean, obviously every sentence ends with a word, but you know what I mean, a one-worded sentence. <laughs> this is the pigeon feeder. Throws crumbs that summon flocks of zombie pigeons. Carbohydrated. So he has like different, okay, I can, I can see these, swarm zombies. They summon swarms of zombies, use plants that pierce or attack a wide area, and then also flying zombies. They fly over most attacks, use anti-air plants like the cabbage pole. Gotcha. We don't have the cabbage pole. Oh no, we do. We do, right? We just got them. How do I alter my team? It won't let me right now? I guess not, that's unfortunate. We'll just go with what we have, hopefully it works out. <laughs> I think at some point we'll have access to just changing our team whenever we want. I don't know how much of the game is available right now, but I'm excited just to keep playing and keep enjoying it. Ready, set, and plant. So this time, like I said, I might not focus as much on bamboo shoots, I might just put them as an as needed plant. Oh, we're already at times two speed. I might slow that down at some point, but for right now we can make that work. And boom. Whoa, 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 hold on. Hold on, he's going right past that. A flying zombie? I can't shoot flying zombies. Curse my neck that can't tilt up even a little bit. Oh, to have a neck, the scarves I'd wear. What do we do? Oh no. He's gonna get right past us. Yeah, the zombies ate our brains. Threat icons warn you of threats like flying zombies. I think we we're supposed to lose this so we can learn about this. So we can tap them. I can't believe we've been crushed by a zombie with a balloon tied to its pants. Hmm, if we could somehow lob our shots. That's it, my old friend Cabbage Paul. All right, so back to the tower. We gotta devise a new plan with our buddy Cabbage Paul. Whenever this is done loading. But yeah, we actually haven't seen plant food just yet. So go to the store. Oh, do we not have them unlocked? Okay, so this is actually, yeah, we haven't seen any of this. So first off, I love lobbing, bobbing and hobnobbing. Let flyers beware. So we just got them. Um, oh, did I just, oh, so I can buy these with coins. I guess it's extra experience and stuff. Um, and with higher levels, which I guess there's levels in the game as well, uh, we unlock more slots. Interesting. And then we can get more coins for gems. There's also club daily deals. What are with the bottle caps? There are so many different currencies in this game, it's very confusing. Gems, couldn't connect to the store, please check your settings, okay. And then we have pinata, 100, 200, or 450. Hmm. So I don't know if I have much of a way to get gems at the moment. Anyways. Let's use this then. And let's also take a look at the info. So, do we have enough to upgrade? Yes, we do. Cabbage Pult level one, common lobber. Lobs cabbages, hitting flying and non-flying zombies, crisp. Uh, 
I thought we already had this. Maybe we did. I don't know. With that being done, I think we're good to go back to the town and try again with it on our team, which it should be. Uh, new threat, flying zombies. Tap for more details, we already did. Uh, oh, I need to. So yep, we should be fine. Oh, we need a key now? It said one key. Did we have a key, I guess? That's sort of my only complaint so far, is that there's so many currencies in the game, it's difficult to keep up. Anyways, ready, set, plant. So let's put you there. And now we should be able to handle this a little bit better, I would hope. Yeah, as soon as you show up, I wanna put that like that. And look at that, we're able to damage him. It's the only thing that can damage him, so we do have to be aware of that and just be ready to put more of those down. Something like that might work. So I don't need any more pea shooters for the time being. There we go, just need one more cabbage pot and we're in the clear. Huge wave of zombies is approaching. There we go, we're fine. I don't know why I put the walnut there, it doesn't really help too much. But we can start saving for things like the bonk choy or anything else we might want. That should be a double symmetry, stage complete, stage one clear. Uh, and what do I wanna promote? I might as well promote the cabbage pot, chills and freezes zombies, really? All right, double symmetry. And get that, get this. Yeah, I definitely wanna see this boosted cabbage pot in action. I guess I'll get that there. We almost have a full lane of uh, walnuts, I want that. Oh wow, that looks cool. Seems to have like a splash damage to it too, but I might have just saw that wrong. Got it. And we just need another bong choy there. We almost have more symmetry. Symmetry. Uh, there we go. Oh gosh, here comes a bird feeder. Haven't seen him before, so let's load this down. He throws a crumb, some pigeons show up. That could definitely be a problem. It wasn't for the fact that we're handling it quite well. Keep getting them. <laughs> They're a little weird. Gotta be honest. Because I think they can hit the, the pigeons. I don't think those are the type of flying plants that are a problem, um, or flying zombies. Anyways, we get 50 coins for the reward there. We also get 10 stars. Not bad. And I think we unlocked two more plants. It should be Colonel Pole and Snapdragon. I sure hope so. Uh, here we go, four complete. Uh, unlock the shovel. Use the shovel to remove plants from the lawn. Colonel Pole lobs corn kernels with chances to lob butter that stun zombies. Corny. <laughs> Snapdragon breathes waves of short range fire, three lanes wide, jaw dropping. I can smell tacos, engine grease, and pepperoni flavored licorice. Oh, that last one's me. Hang on, Benny. Oh, so let's do this. This is the last floor, floor four. Uh, complete this floor to unlock Taco Park. Sure thing. So it looks like on the top, as you can see, I have these keys I'm using. Any new zombies here? Yes, uh, this flag zombie. Flag zombie speeds up all zombies in, this, in his lane. Inspirational. Okay. Let's give it a shot. So we definitely wanna get rid of that flag zombie first if it's gonna speed everything up. I mean, usually I can't control that too much, but it's worth focusing on. Ready, set, plant. Hey guys, I found an incredible upgrade. It might just save our shells. I call it the shovel. Really, Walnut, a dirty shovel? That upgrade stinks, like literally but it lets us dig up plants to make more room for new plants. Best upgrade ever. You're excited that it gets rid of plants? Whose side are you on? <laughs> so yes, if we do misplace a plant or we need to make more room for plants, we can use the shovel. Very familiar uh, utility we've seen in other PvZ games. Okay. Uh, so far, so good. I'll probably start getting some cabbage pots out as well. We already got the full symmetry on the pea shooters. Looking good. I swear the sunflower's producing sun more quickly, but it might just be because I'm not used to the double speed still. Final wave already. There we go, that's definitely double symmetry. Uh, stage complete, super easy. Uh, taco power, we haven't given it to the walnut yet. And it makes it into an Iron Maiden, okay. So that's, so what would the plant food effect be for that? 
That's where I'm a little confused. If there are still plant food effects, what would that be like? Guess we'll find out. Okay, let's go ahead and set up one of these guys, just for fun. <laughs> okay, luckily we have a cabbage pole, so we don't have to worry about dealing with that guy. And we're getting through this quite quickly. Uh, Yeah, sure, go for that. Final wave is coming in. Oh, that was it. Oh wow, that was super easy. <laughs> All right, you win, did you clear? Get 100 coins and uh, use plant food. I would if you gave me any. Maybe maybe that's like old art and it used to be plant food and they changed it to tacos or something. Guess we'll find out sooner or later. For right now though, this creepy tower is backing off and Penny seems to be okay. Hi, Penny. Floor complete, 10 area unlocked, taco truck. It gives additional tacos in each taco time. Really, that's nice. All of your bananas have been leveled up to level two, and we should have enough of those to claim more. We did it. We hit that tower hard enough to drive it back and free Taco Park. They always said my punches wouldn't save a local park, but here we are. Greetings, user Dave, plants and unidentified human unit. Who? Human, where? I'm not a human, I'm a zebra. I am designated Penny. I'm just your everyday all-terrain, time-traveling, taco-making, self-aware RV. What? It stands for recreational vehicle. As a taco truck, I will multiply your taco supply, giving you two tacos in every taco time. Wasn't well, that nice? So we can tap the taco truck. If you find a taco truck blueprint, we can upgrade my cooking software to give three tacos per battle. Who doesn't want three tacos? One for each hand and one for your favorite foot. I think I smelled a taco truck blueprint on the next floor to, of the tower. Okay, so we can't do this yet. Increased chance of seed pack. It's not enough currency. Okay. So there's still more stuff to do around here as well that I can't quite interact with yet because I really want me to do this. We can't pass up more talkability power. Let's go get that blueprint. So it looks like, I think that's something we'll work on in the next episode then, um, if it would let me. I don't know then, maybe, maybe we'll keep going. Yeah, okay, we'll just have to go one more time. Uh, floor five, whoa, look at these new plants. And plant food, okay, this one looks good. Uh, battles, two, we get 50 coins, 10 stars, a whole bunch of new stuff. New threat, obstacle zombies, tap for details. Uh, Zombobstacles, if only we had a pine needler. We could pierce right through them, we do have a pine needler. I'll call the newspaper, help wanted. Do you hate obstacles, do you know, do you know spreadsheets? After reading 12,054,886 internets, parks have trees. We are likely to find pine needlers in ta Taco Park. That's Penny always saying numbers and words. So their obstacles block plant attacks. Use plant, a uh, plant that pierces through obstacles or attacks to the left. So we gotta back out of here. <laughs> they really make us go back and do a bunch of stuff. So then we go here. Classification, Mega Minions. These are especially enormous zombies with strange new abilities. Check block rewards to see which seeds are most often found here. Multiple breakouts detected. You are more likely to get pine needler seeds by defeating breakouts in the park. Okay. That's what I want. So I guess we gotta take on these guys now? So I guess we can take on these zombies then, right? I can select one and wow, zombie attack, there is a ton of them. Uh, all right, well, this one's new right here. This is the Rainbow Glitz Minion. Oh, she's pretty, she's got a cool dress on. Uh, zombies behind her in her lane are protected by rainbows and can't be damaged, colorful. So this is actually the roller skating zombie from PVZ2, gotcha. And it looks like we have flying zombies and armored zombies, so let's get to it. Okay, so warning you are unprotected from some threats. See, that's where I get a little bit confused, maybe, because like, I thought that we already had you, but I guess we didn't. But there he is. Um, what's going on with that? Now, let's try again. Like, what, what, swarm zombies. They summon swarms of zombies, use plants and pierce. So we can't do that, but I think we'll be fine. Um, and then also range zombies. They stay back using special abilities, use plants that can attack the back line. I mean, this is what we have, so this is what we'll use. I hope it'll be enough. I think it'll still let me fight. Yeah, okay. So prepare for threats, I'm trying. Whoa, look at this one, that's so cool, I like it. All right, wow, it's so pretty. I really like the varying different places you can go to so far, very pretty. Um, so let's get back to planning. 
planning and planting. Of course, mostly we're focused on normal pea shooters for right now. We'll get through as much as we can. But I'm so excited to play so much of this game. We'll be doing a lot of episodes of it, and don't worry because there's still plenty of PvZ2 to play. If you're still a fan of that game, plenty of episodes are coming soon. I actually just recorded more of that earlier today. So there's lots of awesome stuff going on. So don't be worried about me not making any more videos on other PvZ games. It's all coming soon. So yeah, I hope you're excited as I am. It just means that we have a whole new PvZ game to add to our repertoire of fun things to play. All right, so we should get a synergy bonus there. Um, we have two tacos now, so we could do, like, honestly, it might just be smart to do two pea shooters. There we go. Um, I do have enough sun to place some more stuff, but I think I'll hold off for now. Let's get ready. There we go. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Put that there. I haven't had to use any of the cabbage poults yet. I've been holding off on them for when I need them. Okay, here we go. Uh, get that there, get this here. See how they were sort of protected that way? Okay, more coming down this lane. Let's go ahead and just get another bamboo shoot. Don't think we'll even really need it too much. Okay, so a huge wave is coming in. I'll do whatever I can about it. Honestly, it doesn't look like we need to do too much. And there we go, that was really easy. Okay, so I don't have to worry about too many of the warnings. Stage two, clear, we win, we get five stars. That's what I like to see. No pie needlers yet, but I did find this piece of gum. Ew. Nope, it's a bug. Sorry for trying to chew you, bug. Ew. Keep fighting, I just know a zombie will drop some pie needlers soon. All right then. So, let's keep at it then. That was some extra rewards, but not quite the pine needler seeds we needed. That's that's a weird set. Pine needler seeds we need. Uh, but that, that there are some extra stars. We can claim something else soon. Um, I actually didn't even claim the previous. So let's do this real quick. Silver pinata level one. And that is going to give us one experience for the pea shooter, one experience for the bonk choy, and three experience for the kernel pulp. Um, lobs kernel, corn kernels. Uh, with a chance to lob butter that stuns zombies corny. So like you can unlock the ability to unlock a plant, it seems, because I thought we had already done that. It's so weird. I'm still getting used to it, and I don't, I don't think we can get this one until we get five more. Um, so let's keep moving forward. If I go to my team here, yep, we now have Colonel Pult. If we take a look at the info, lobs cor corn kernels with a chance to lob butter that stuns zombies corny. So can I put him in? There we go. Uh, so now we have a full set of six plants. Very nice. I wonder if we'll be able to improve that at some point. Let's try this one. Um, and it looks like for this one, all the same zombies. Our team power is 233, the zombie power is 100. And they have flying zombies, they have uh, armored zombies. I didn't mean to do that. So we should be fine. It's sort of the same issue as we had last time. Not really too much we can do about it. Let's go for it. Okay, so I do see one of those uh, minions again. So I guess that must mean there must be a bigger zombie somewhere along the way, because I think there are going to be unique boss fights in this game from what I've heard. I haven't heard too much. I've been trying to sort of stay away from too much of the info so that when I experience it now, I can really enjoy it, you know? There we go. Get that there. Maybe I can do that. Maybe not the best idea then, because I could have put that there instead. We'll do like the cabbage pot or something. Oh, she's coming up quick, she's coming up quick, we got her! Oh boy, a little close. And now we got a balloon zombie. Was there no balloon zombie last level? I guess there wasn't. <laughs> I was overly worried about that. And that was it. Okay, stage one complete without too much of an issue. Uh, we'll probably get symmetry bonus at some point. Let's taco boost you, just for fun. Um, There we go, got our symmetry bonus there. And I think that if we keep putting it down, even during this round, we should get more symmetry bonuses. Yep, symmetry. And. Oh yeah, let's put, put down a kernel pole. I haven't done that yet. They're very expensive, five of them. But they throw down butter and that will freeze a zombie. So that's pretty useful. There's more symmetry. So I'm guessing that once we start getting into you know situations where we'll have more stages, uh, we'll be able to fill up the board a lot more easily. Can I just like do this real fast to see if I can't get another little symmetry? Oh, I couldn't quite. Oh well. You win, stage two clear. And that is going to hopefully be, yep, five stars again. Pine Needler, we need your help. Will you fight for justice, peace, and let's go. Right to the point. 
to the Devoured Tower. Well, actually, can we do that last battle first? I would love to do that. But yeah, this is so much fun so far. This is a really cool game. And so far, like, honestly, there's like a thousand different currencies, but it doesn't seem to be too harsh with them. So can we battle you? Yes, we can. Um, lots of stuff going on. We do have, there's, well, there's Glitter Zombie and Mega Glitter Zombie. Okay, so once again, I read the, the, the classification. They're Rainbow Glitz Minions, but it's a Mega Glitter Zombie and a Glitter Zombie. What's better than a Double Rainbow? A Triple Rainbow! This monstrous muse shield zombies in three lanes. Let's try it. Yeah, let's just go for it. I mean, maybe I should have tried the Pine Needle. Maybe that would have been good. We will later on, for right now. Let's give this a try. Wow, you are huge! I'm going to be as ready as I'm going to be, I guess. Okay, pea shooter there. Probably a walnut as well, would be good. Seems like a good choice. I just wanna fill up everything with pea shooters right now, I think. I mean, maybe I could put like a Colonel Pult somewhere. You know, butter them down that way. Seems like a good idea to me. Get that there. I probably wanna save up enough sun so that whenever that, that mega glitter thing, yep, shows up, we can smack you with one of these. And hope for the best. Put that there, because you gotta eat through that. Wow, you eat quick. Let's slow things down a little bit. I'm a bit worried with this. Come on, five. And then we should be able to butter you, which will slow you down a lot. I hope. Yep, there it goes, there it goes. Uh, very scary, very, very scary. Yeah, we got you before you can get rid of that walnut. Very nice, stage one complete. Let's put a walnut there and promote. Let's promote the kernel pot. We haven't seen that yet. What did that do? Lobs more and stronger butter. I'll put a pea shooter like over this way. I'm ready. We got a symmetry bonus there. We're about to get another one. All right. For right now though, I want to save up for more kernel pulse because they're really nice so far. Being able to slow down zombies that way is very useful. Of course, not everything they lob is butter. It's, it's usually just corn kernels and then sometimes they lob a butter, which will slow down the, the zombie. Okay, there's that one more sun, and then we can put down a walnut and get the symmetry bonus. Even if that one walnut disappears, that's fine. Okay, so this is where, will that get rid of that guy? It will, so that's sort of the big perk with the Colonel Pult, is it also can deal with those guys. The problem is it's not very fast, so if we could do that as well, I'd be happy. Thank you. Park trick, pigeon plunge. Um, all right, that's sort of a problem, but we made it work, that's good. There's more coming up. Oh man, I should have saved my son. Got it, we're fine, we're fine. Wow. <laughs> Let's do some symmetry if we can, just right before this ends. Does that count? Okay, it's not symmetry because there's all plants in a lane. It's all the same plant in a lane. So we can dig this up real quick. And it's too late. All right, well, not too bad. You win. And that's gonna be over 6,000 points. Pretty good. Bunch of experience for the pea shooter that time. So we should probably be able to promote him. I should definitely take a look at that. But for right now, let's just go back. So we're probably gonna take it on that next stage now. Oh, we got more stuff we can claim. Yep, uh, we're right here. Well, actually, no, not that one, this one. So we got a basic pinata level two. This is gonna have some experience for cabbage pole, pea shooter, kernel pole, and bamboo shoots. Uh, not a level up for any of them. So the pea shooter is actually not ready for a level up just yet. It really doesn't give you too much experience though. Uh, I'm sure we'll get there at some point. I don't know how we earn more gems though. What is this? L lure another zombie breakout? Lure an another zombie breakout onto this block. Not right now, maybe later. Because for now, we're supposed to be going and taking on the tower again. Okay. Um, hmm. So here's stage five. We'll have to change our stuff around a little bit. Here we go. All right, pea shooter, shoot peas. Walnut, sit there. Pine needler, wait, where's pine needler? Ah, we forgot to add her to the team. The, this brain fog must be getting to me. So we gotta go ahead and do this. I will have to remove somebody. I think for right now, I will remove the kernel pulp because it's just all too expensive. Use. Yeah, I wanna use you, but I gotta remove somebody from the team. It won't let me. Oh, there we go. So let's see some descriptions for Pine Needler. Flings Pine Needles that pierce through multiple zombies, Pine Scented. It's rare and it's a shooter type. Cool. Yeah, nobody's ready for an upgrade just yet. All right, let's go get that Taco Truck Blueprint. 
And this costs two keys. Uh, unprotected from ranged zombies. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. We'll be able to handle it. It says that, but I don't, I don't think we've seen any zombies that have thrown anything. Like, except for like the zombies that throw bread for the pigeons, but does that really count? This guy has a donut? Oh my. Okay, so we we'll have to deal with that donut zombie. He looks like an engineer. In the meantime, we'll do what we typically do. Set up some uh, pea shooters and hope for the best. And we could actually set up a Punyola right away, but I do want to save it for maybe something that looks a little bit more dangerous. There we go. Get that there. And get that there. So that should be enough just to defend in general. Okay, well, let's slow things down. We'll throw out a pine needle. See how it goes. Whoa, yeah, so it throws out the little pine needles. I like it. Huge wave of zombies is coming in. I'll try to be ready for it as much as I can. Whoa, look at this guy. He's like a Shakespeare zombie. To be or not to be? Uh, that's the question. I was trying to think of a joke. I couldn't. Oh, well. Oh, wait, I, met, I put a pea shooter. I didn't mean to do that. Can I get sun back? When I do that, no, that's a shame. <laughs> He's dying. Oh, the pain, the agony. All right. <laughs> oh no, wait. He's he's still dying. Stage one complete. He was funny. I liked him. Uh, let's put that there, and we get to promote the pine needler now for sure. And let's also promote a uh, a cabbage pole for fun. Got some symmetry there. We're about to get more symmetry. I would sure hope. Uh, at least that's what I'll be working on. I think we're good to speed things back up. More symmetry. And more symmetry. So far, so good. If we're lucky, we can maybe get the rest of this, but I don't know. Let the rest of the symmetry pine cone there and then one last pine cone. The pine cones are great though. The pine needles, uh, pine needler is great so far. There we go, three lanes of symmetry. Let's keep at it. Maybe I could put down some, some pea shooters. I don't know if we'll be able to put it down enough in time, but that's what I'm hoping for. Two, three, one more. Oh yes, the donut zombie, final wave coming in. More symmetry! <laughs> Whoa. Okay, that's a problem. That's a big problem. Well, we're dealing with them. Yeah, what does he really do with this donut? I guess he uses the squish to plants. Not well enough though. We survive. Stage two clear. And we get 50 coins. Oh, we get a mastery reward. Defeat the four without losing any lives to earn to get the mastery reward. That's what we did. Okay, so there's wait, is there another battle? We're just moving on to the next thing now. Oh. Okay. At some point, I need to finish off for today's episode. It's been going for a while. Uh, but let's just do this then for now. It shouldn't be too bad, I would hope. Seems to be mostly the same situation. Got it. And I guess while we're waiting for pea shooters to restock, we should probably put down some cabbage pots as well. My phone alarm's going off. Bad timing. Uh, get that there. So yeah, we have our full lane of pea shooters ready to go. Some of these zombies are tougher than others, it seems. Okay, so a huge wave is coming in. I just wanna get that there. And that should be fine enough. I like how a huge wave of zombies is literally just one huge zombie. And Pine Needler. There we go. So things are going well. That is for sure. Stage one complete. Once again, we'll taco this guy. Why did I put a cabbage bolt there? I did not mean to. Well, no, did I just move you accidentally? Was that the problem? I think so. Uh, okay. Let's taco you. I'm ready. Double symmetry. We'll be getting more of that soon. I hope. Now it's just sort of going all in with the pine needlers. More symmetry. I really like that. It's super addicting to do. So far, the gameplay, the core gameplay mechanics are a lot of fun. It might be different from the original PVC formula, but different isn't always bad. Oh boy, he's getting sped up over there because of the uh, flag zombie. That's where that becomes a big issue. Um, for right now, I'm gonna try to put down as many 
normal pea shooters as I can before this round ends. The huge wave is coming in. Come on, one more, one more, one more. Got it. Good to get more symmetry. And then a bong choy, because we haven't put down a bong choy in a little bit, and we won't even need to use them. That's fine. So there is that stage done. That is another four worth of rewards, I suppose. What is he attacking? Nothing. <laughs> you win, stage two clear. Let's continue. Oh, we get a golden pinata, which has one cabbage pot, one bong choy, one walnut, 174 coins. Not too bad. So is that properly this floor completed? I really don't know. Cause that should give us blueprints for Penny's taco thing, right? Yeah, floor complete unlocks level five. Well, no, that was, I guess it was level five for the floor. Unlocks buttercup, block zombies, butter zombies that attack her, stunning them, flattening, or fattening, not flattening. Blockbuster, lashes out with vines, prioritizes hitting obstacles, doing extra shatter damage to them. Cinematic. Oh, I get it. Taco truck blueprint, use this blueprint to upgrade the taco truck and upgrade its perks. Plant food, give plant food to plants to activate their unique plant food abilities and daily tasks. Complete daily tasks to locate and fight the invading brainiac. Penny, we got that blueprint. Advantageous, return to taco park and to upgrade me for more tacos. I stop listening at tacos. So the end of the sentence, let's go. So let's go ahead and get that figured out. Uh-oh, a feeling of impending doom, or maybe it's all those tacos. Oh, okay. Whoa! Who in the, how is that huge zombie? Rainbow Glitz, okay. Classification, Zombie Brainiac. They are bigger, tougher, barely smarter than average zombies. Despite their size, Brainiacs are very good at hiding with large pinatas of loot. Hiding from my fists, now that is smart. Completely Complete daily tasks to acquire clues. Find enough clues and you can locate the Brainiac. Oh, that's cool. So there's two days left to find uh, Rainbow Glitz. We'll work on this for sure next episode then. Um, the last thing I'll do for today's episode is we'll go ahead and claim some of this stuff right here. So, Silver Pinata uh, gets Buttercup, Block Zombies, Butters Zombies that attack her, stunning them, fattening. And then of course we got um, Blockbuster, some experience for Pea Shooter, lashes out with funds. We read all this. Snapdragon, so I guess now they're properly unlocked once we get experience from them, it's sort of weird. 53 coins. All right, three new plants. Very nice with that. We have to continue making our way up this tree throughout the next couple of days for sure. I'll be working on it really hard. I don't know how we get more gems just yet. Can be used to buy coins, pinatas, skeletons, keys, and gloves, but how do you get more? I don't know. Um, I'm worried that you have to get them through the shop, but because of how this is set up, I might not be able to connect to the store and buy them. Are they only purchasable? I guess I'll have to find out. But for right now, I think that's gonna wrap up for our first episode. I had a blast. Hopefully you did too. Stay tuned for plenty more PVZ3 videos, but for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for the first episode of Plants vs. Zombies 3. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.